What's going on my friends? This is Joe Dickinson and in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to get started with Facebook ads. So what you're looking at right now is just a totally blank ad account. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you the process of setting up a Facebook ad um, really kind of from start to finish. Give you that 10,000 foot view of how it works. Now there's a lot to Facebook ads as far as testing, how to split test and we're going to cover that just a little bit but this the point of this video is to give you an overall feel of like all right I know enough to be able to go get an ad up and running that's the goal of you coming out of this video so first things first um, before you start up a Facebook ad you need to make sure that you have a website or a funnel or something to send traffic to right you might say well duh Joe I know that so if you've got that set up perfect the second thing you want to make sure of is you have your pixel code set up on your site so what I'm gonna do is let me pop over to this page here and bring it down so you can see it. So if you look at this, this is actually a page right here um, that advertises a webinar that I run. All right, so if you look right here, this little icon that I'm hovering over with my mouse, this is called the Facebook Pixel Helper. It's actually a Google Chrome extension. So if you go over into Google and you type in Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension, you'll see right here, you can download it right here. So if you click download this extension because it allows you to be able to see if your Facebook pixel is set up on your funnel or your website correctly. The reason you want this is because when you send traffic um, to a page, the pixel needs to be embedded on this page to feed that data to Facebook. And so if you, if you don't have a pixel set up, Facebook doesn't really know who's going to your page. If you do, it's kind of like a tracking sticker that feeds that data to Facebook. You want that because Facebook will actually help you get your ads in front of the right people based on data that they're mining. In other words, they see that you know people with this interest are hitting your page a lot and they'll show your ad to more people like that. They can't do that though if you don't have your pixel set up. So if you go ahead and get it set up, you can see Facebook pixel is set up on here and you can see the events that are uh, being recorded on this page. So you want to do that. We're not going to talk about how to set up your Facebook pixel in this video. That will be set for another uh, video. You can also just Google Facebook pixel and you'll be able to get some help from Facebook on that. But anyways, uh, that's how you can go ahead and, and get your pixel set up on the code on your website. All right. You also want to make sure that you have the conversion or the lead event set up when someone opts in uh, or someone makes a purchase, etc. So if you're getting lost here, don't worry about that. The point of this video is to not go over that specifically. What I do want to mention though is, let me show you what happens in the, in the instance of my funnel. If someone goes to click to watch the free webinar and they pop their information in here, they put all their info in and click on secure my spot. Let me just put a phone number in here. Check this out right here. It will show a lead has been recorded. I want to know that because I'm going to build my ad around leads being generated. So I'm going to show you that in a second. If you're selling something, you want to have a purchase event show up. In other words, you want Facebook to be able to see that information so you can properly track and scale your ads. Uh, it'll help them get your ads in front of more of the right kind of people. And you can track what your return on investment is. How much does it cost to generate a lead or generate a sale, etc. So once again, I want to cover that. It's the importance of tracking data. Um, be sure to go like Google, Facebook, Pixel uh, install or something and look at some of the Facebook articles that they have that will certainly help you. And I'll be sure to shoot a video on that as well. But you definitely want to have a Pixel set up if you're going to be running ads. So now that we covered that, let's jump into the rest of this video, which is going to be talking about actually creating the ad. So we jump over into the ads manager right here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on this button that says create, right? So if we go to create, you're going to have a whole bunch of options on what you want to optimize your ad for. All right. So you can do a bunch of stuff. You can just do brand awareness. You can do reach. I don't usually ever do any sort of ads around this. I'm usually always creating my ads around conversions. In other words, I'm trying to optimize my ads for like a converted lead or a converted sale or purchase or something. So typically I will go ahead and select this. The cool thing is you can hover over this eye and be able to actually see what each thing is. Um, traffic is just getting link clicks to your site and that's cool, right? It's cool if I get a whole bunch of people 
to this page, but I don't really care about that. I care more about, you know, are, am I getting leads, right? Am I getting people to register for this or purchase a product, etc.? That's why I'll usually optimize for conversions right here. So uh, you can use messages, lead gen, video views, etc. But look, if you're trying to generate leads or sell things, I would go with conversions. So let's just click on that for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna click on conversions. And then you can name your campaign. You can do this later. It doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and click on continue here. So as you can see, we have a new campaign now set up. Now underneath campaign, we have new ad set and new ad. Here's the way the breakdown goes. You have a campaign and then you have an ad set. Really what an ad set is, is your audience. You know, who are we, who are we getting in front of for these ads? And then inside of your audience or your ad set, you have then ads. Now you might have 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe 100 different ads. And those could be different images, different ad copy that all are in the, the same audience of people, right? Underneath an overall campaign. Now, you could also have multiple audiences under a campaign too. So if I'm losing you here, don't worry about it. We're going to circle back to this. But right here, you can navigate new campaign, new ad set, and new ad. So if we just scroll down here, you can see right here we have some options. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to not worry about any of this kind of stuff. I'm going to click on next and we're going to jump into the ad set. So right here, pretty much ask conversion, conversion event location, what do you want to do? Well, I want to go ahead and optimize for um, website conversions, right? So I want to go ahead and click here underneath pixel. You can see what pixel is set up on this ad account. So this is just a, a dummy solar, uh, a dummy pixel, excuse me, in here. But in this case, say I wanted to optimize for leads, right? Because I wanted to grab people who confirm or um, register for this through this, the, the, the sake of becoming a lead, right? So I can go ahead and click on lead and then verify pixel. We don't need to worry about this right now. We'll do another video on this. I want to just give you an overview. So you're going to select what the pixel event you want to optimize for. So really what I'm telling Facebook is, look, I want to optimize for people becoming leads. Let's scroll on down. You can set your budget here. You can always change this later. So set it to 10 bucks a day or whatever you want. Um, start date. This is you know, right now, essentially, so I can just keep that live. This right here is where we're going to specify uh, who you want to hit up or who you want your ad to be put in front of. So if we go ahead and create new audience here, we have this clicked right on here. We're going to go ahead and click and select what age we want to hit genders. Typically, when I set up ads locations, I'll keep this and this wide open male, female, um, and then any other gender, age, same thing, 18 to 65. I just keep it wide open. Then I look at my data and then I'll change my age range. If you know that like an 18 year old is not going to buy your product, then change this. Just click edit and edit your age. If you know someone 65 or older is probably not going to buy your product, edit it. You know, maybe make it up to 60 year olds, for example. If you know you can't sell your product in uh, outside of the country, just keep it as United States. If you can, or if you're looking for leads all over the place, then make this global. You can always change your locations in here, right? You can always search by locations and cities. So like I'm in Ocean City, New Jersey. That's where our office is, right? So Ocean City, New Jersey, and I can go ahead and allow within 50 miles of people to see this. I can then set another location. So feel free to do what you want as far as location goes here location goes here, excuse me. This is now where you specify interest. So let's click on edit. So I'm going to give you an example here. This is teaching like small business owners and entrepreneurs how to use messenger bots to um, grow their business. So like, I'm not going to put this in front of people who like shopping at Whole Foods or just something random like that, right? I want to get this in front of people who are interested in social media marketing, maybe they're entrepreneurs, etc. So what I can do is I can start typing interests in here. So say I type in entrepreneur, entrepreneur, and I'm going to see a whole bunch of stuff show up. So entrepreneurship, interest. Hey, listen, I would love to get in front of people who have an interest in entrepreneurship. So let me click on that one. And then I like to use this suggestions tab right here. Facebook's gotten really good as far as helping you get um, the right people, you know, or, or you get the ad in front of the right people. So click on suggestions. Look, small business owners. Here's a job title business owner. You know, that means that literally they have a job title listed in their Facebook as business owner. That's a pretty good one. 
owner and CEO. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab that one. So you can see you can select a bunch of interests. I like to keep my reach between about one to three million people, by the way. That's usually a good audience. So you can keep adding here, searching for interest, etc. Use the suggestion icon to go ahead and grab more interest, and then you're good. If you want to narrow your audience, so here's you know, small business owner, business owner, owner and CEO, entrepreneurship. That is a little broad. Facebook Messenger bots are more for people who are interested in social media marketing on top of being like an owner and CEO. So I can click on narrow audience here and say I typed in social media marketing. I can pretty much hit all these people, but then I can say they must be interested, hence and must also match social media marketing right here. So you see my audience actually gets a little bit smaller. It goes from 1.3 million to 970,000. What I'm telling Facebook is I want you to get in front of these people, but I really need them to have an interest in social media marketing to then see this page. So you can go ahead and use this narrow and then even narrow further and further, or you can take it off and have your audience go back up. Feel free to use that though. The more dialed in the audience is, the better, but you wanna try and keep that like one to three-ish million range. You can certainly get more targeted than that, there's some ad campaigns I have only with a few thousand. Just know that's that that's not that many people, right? So you can go ahead and set that up. You don't need to worry about clicking on save this audience. And then from there, you're ready to create your ads. So let's go ahead and create our first ad. So right here, you're going to select what Facebook page you want to run the ad from. Let's just go ahead and grab this here. You can name your ad, you know, ad one or whatever. And then usually I'll, I'll keep this off and I will go down here. And I will add an image and then I will write my copy. So let's go ahead and do add media. Let's do add image here. And you're going to upload whatever ad image you're going to use, whether you've, you know, create this yourself, you have a designer create this, whatever. So let's go ahead and just upload a picture. Let me try and grab one really quickly. All right, cool. So here's a, a, uh, an image that I'm using for this ad campaign here. So let's go ahead and click on this uploading click continue all right so here is a good ad right here and then under primary text i'm going to write my ad copy so i might say something like are you looking to generate more leads for your online business you know something like that check out this free webinar and then maybe i grab the link here come over here and pop it in okay and underneath here, I'm going to put my website URL here as well. Headline, this is going to show up right here, free webinar. So you see how it edits right here. And then register while free access is still open. Something like that, right? And you can add emojis in here. You can write whatever you'd like. So you can go ahead and get an ad set up. You can you know, not worry about the display link. I don't usually ever mess with this. I don't mess with any of this. I make sure that my tracking looks good. And then languages, if you want only in English, you can add just English, for example, etc. And then you can go ahead and you can publish. So um, if we go ahead and we publish this ad, now I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want the ad to be published. But if we go ahead and publish the ad, the ad will then go under review. The cool thing is once you do that though, so let me go ahead and let me just click on, this should save, hold on a minute. Okay, so we should be good. So here's this ad. Now say for example, you had another image that you wanna run too, and, and I'm a big fan of split testing. If you click here, so let me, let me actually back up for a second. Here's the overall campaign. Let's name it webinar registrations. Okay. Oh, sorry. And then let's name this new ad set. Let's do business owners. And then usually I do match social media marketing. So let's call it SMM. In other words, what I'm saying is this ad set, this audience are business owners and entrepreneurs, etc. but they must match social media marketing. So let's click that. And then I have this ad inside of it. Say I wanted to create another ad though. I could check this checkbox on and click duplicate. Put this ad in the same campaign. Put this ad in the same ad set, right? The same audience, click duplicate. And then watch what happens. 
add one copy. So let's now name it add two. Let's scroll down here. Let's clear this image out and let's add a different image. So maybe I want to go ahead and I want to use this image. This is definitely not an image I would use, but let's go ahead and just click it. And now this image would show up and I can now do that. So now I have this ad in here as well. And maybe I want to split test against the two. Now say I want to add a different audience. Maybe I want to hit up a whole different group of people. So what I can do is I can select both these ads. I can click on duplicate. I can put it in the same existing campaign, but I want to hit a different group of people, a different audience. So I click on new ad set and maybe I type in here. Um, uh, let's just do new audience too. I can click duplicate and now I'm putting these ads into a whole new audience. So you see how we have the overall campaign webinar registrations. Here's my two ads, but look, I have my two ads under this new audience I'm about to create. So if I click on this new audience, I can select my conversion event. I still want to optimize for leads. Daily budget's all good. You can always change that later. And now I can go ahead and I can change my audience. So if I click on edit here, I can now change an audience and maybe I want to optimize for uh, network marketers, for example, or something like that, right? Multi-level marketing. You know, those are all business owners too. So maybe I want to, you know, optimize for them. Suggestions, affiliate marketers, home business, but then I want to narrow this 230 million into just social media marketing. And it got more narrow. Now it's still big and that's okay. I can run it big like that. That's no problem. Or I can narrow even more. Maybe I want to do messenger. Uh, Facebook messenger and narrow it even more. You get the idea. And then I can go ahead and I can run these ads to this audience. So that's how you can kind of create your ads and then you can go ahead and go through and optimize in different audiences and then really see what works best for you. So hopefully that gave you a 10,000 foot view of ads. Um, a couple things that were not included in this is making sure your pixel set up correctly, search through Facebook, make sure you go through that stuff, um, make sure your pixel set up correctly on your website and then go ahead and get your ads set up or on your, your funnel. And then go ahead and get your ads set up this way. If you have questions, of course, reach out to us. Uh, you can find us at mobilemindagency.com. That's mobilemindagency.com. You can also find me on joedickinsonofficial.com. So with that being said, subscribe to this channel if you love it. Uh, or if you enjoyed it, you want to see more videos like this. We'll talk to you all in a bit. Bye-bye.